completely original except for these ugly ass hand grips the dude put on there he's got this fucking monstrosity slipknot sticker the uh, sparkly seat pretty awesome the fusion seat post that leans back original multi-surface three white wall tires on and they are in really good shape as you can see they still got the nubs on them. It's got the one piece crank with the golf ball sprocket, the arm and hammer bars. I'll probably throw some knee savers on once I get them in the mail finally. But yeah, all this good shit. Rear brake works good, front brake works like shit. <laughs> So here's where here's where I'm at with the build so far. Brought it out in the sunlight. Hope this video turns out good. So you can see the awesome powder coat match the original perfectly. These new decals. I was a little bummed out that the highlighting's in white or in black, and not white like the originals. But these decals look amazing. And like in the back with the fusion thing is right there that was originally white on the originals but so I was really bummed that the the new decals didn't have that on there but oh well we got bar ends on got the knee savers I'm gonna get some new hardware for the uh, stem because it's still kind of rusty even though it polished up okay um, here's the mega nuke I'm gonna get re-anodized I'm gonna strip all the black anodize off this it's in good shape someone painted it red three red seats right here keeping this this as an option the guts are in bad shape but it matched the powder coating really well then over here i got the rims relaced this is the back wheel front wheel over here look both look brand new relacing really did them good now i'm just going to polish up the rims and I'll be ready to build once I get my cranks in the mail tomorrow. Oh, oh boy. Fuck yeah. Look at this. Oh God. It's in superb shape. Still got the hat washer on. Hell yeah. I just wanted to unbox this. Uh, I've never seen one of these in person before. Seen them in catalogs and stuff. Never seen one in person. Oh. Sweet. Awesome. Have Ron, baby. This looks awesome. I thought it was just like kind of beat up looking, but no, it's got like a green hue to it. I think I might have to use this and show it, even though it might clash a little bit. But, hell yeah. All right, guys, this will have to conclude part one of this video. As I've been documenting this build, I apologize. Parts of the puzzle have changed. I'm going to show you it it's in its current state. Um, I incorporated that last video in with like the Hevron stem and knee saver two bars. Um, I decided I'm going to change that because I have exciting news. I'm going to start another project. And I uh, just got to do the brakes and fix the headset on this. It kind of, it's stiff and it rubs a little bit. You can't tell on video. But I uh, got to get the pedals, of course. I'm going to put gold ones on. I'm, I'm going to keep this nuke on temporarily. I want to try and find another one if I can. But just wanted to show the powder coat off. Um, my main objective was to put all pro parts on a 540 frame. And then eventually switch, you know, eventually put the 540 parts back on here and have this as a piece of wall art as a perfectly pristine 540. But, um, things changed. I'll have another video of my next project coming up. 
and uh, you guys will be highly satisfied with it so you know here it is in its current state so enjoy this is I'll have part two up when I finish it after I put the brakes on and stuff and then I'll be able to ride it so yeah peace <laughs>